everyone. Today, I will be explaining the plan, do, check, act cycle. Imagine you are working on a project and you know that something needs to be changed. You can sense something is wrong and it needs to be fixed. You've worked tirelessly to create a vision of where you want it to be in the future. But are you 100% sure that you are right? And are you positive that your solution will work perfectly in every way and every time? Where the penalties of getting things wrong are major, it often makes sense to run a well-crafted experimental project. In that way, if the trial does not deliver the results you hoped for, you get the chance to repair and improve things before you fully commit your reputation and resources. So how do you make sure that you get this right? Not just this one time, but every time. A popular tool that can be used to solve this problem is known as the Plan, Do, Check, Act cycle, also referred to as the Deming cycle or the Short cycle. Deming is best known as a pioneer of the quality management approach. He believed that a key source of production quality lay in having clearly defined, repeatable processes. And so, the PDCA cycle is very much at the heart of Deming's quality-driven philosophy. PDCA is quite a simple concept to grasp. Let's start off with an analogy. Imagine that you are baking a cake. The first step is to figure out what kind of cake you want to bake and what ingredients you need. Next, you need to mix the ingredients together and bake. After you have baked your cake, you then compare it with the picture in the recipe book or give it a taste test. And unless the cake has turned out perfect, the final step is to make note of how much more or less ingredients to add next time. In essence, we have just gone through the PDCA cycle. Still confused? Here's another example. Imagine playing a video game. Video games allow us to fail over and over again, forcing us to replan our steps and try again. Failing just means that you learn how to do it better the next time. And each time you restart the level, you gain abilities, power, or wealth. You start from a relatively easy stage and advance to harder stages, journeying through a series of failures, successes, and learning. Video gaming is an excellent example of what a PDCA cycle is all about. So what exactly is this PDCA cycle? In relation to quality management, the PDCA cycle provides a simple but effective approach for problem solving and managing change, ensuring that ideas are appropriately tested before committing to full implementation. The objective is to continually progress through each stage while aiming to achieve a better quality output of products or services. It is often graphically presented as a circle or wheel because it requires repeating the same stages over and over in the continuous change management effort to improve processes and outputs. So how exactly do we use this PDCA cycle? Well, there are four steps. The first stage in the PDCA cycle is to plan. The goal at this stage is to decide what needs to be done and how it best can be done. The problem must be defined, relevant information gathered, the root cause of the problem identified, possible solutions developed and considered, and the best alternative selected for implementation. All of this needs to be done by people carefully selected on the basis of their association with the process involved and their relevant knowledge, skills, experience, and so on. Change management tools and methods that can be used in this stage include customer supplier relationships analysis, flow charting, Pareto analysis, idea generation sessions such as brainstorming, and root cause and effect analysis. The second stage is to do. Do the planned activity. This is the stage during which the plan is actually tried out in the operation and the solution chosen as the best is implemented. In the real world, best often means most likely to produce the desired result. The third stage is to check. This is the part where you monitor the implemented solution and gather the data relevant to the original problem 
and any other areas of concern. For example, concerns about unintended consequences of the solution. Analyze the data to determine whether the implemented solution eliminated the problem or made it much less likely to recur. Change management methodologies and tools used at this stage can include data check sheets, control charts, and key performance indicators. The fourth stage of the PDCA cycle is ACT, also called ADJUST. If the check step confirms that the problem has been eliminated and that it is not likely to recur, then the job is done. If, however, it was found that the solution has not accomplished the intended result or that there is still a possibility of recurrence, then it will be necessary to adjust the implemented solution. Adjust can also mean discard the implemented solution and try a different approach. Whether the implemented solution has failed completely or does not quite measure up to expectation, the conceptual adjustment will be carried forward to the planned step of another PDCA cycle. Documentation for this stage may include business process mapping and standardization procedures and new training for standard processes. Why do we use the PDCA cycle? Well, the PDCA cycle is particularly effective when implementing change, for problem solving, for continuous improvement, to develop a design and to avoid large-scale wastage of resources that comes with the full-scale implementation of a mediocre or poor solution. When we start using PDCA more and more, it becomes second nature to us. Just like playing a video game, failing and checking our steps is something that comes without thinking. When done right, PDCA keeps us in a capable mode. It challenges us to solve problems in relatively small portions, allowing us to experience small failures and experience a change to success. This fuels us to continue to try to solve and change and grow. As for the PDCA cycle in relation to quality management, it is a tool that continues to provide effective approach for problem solving and managing change ensuring that ideas are appropriately tested before committing to full implementation. For more information on the PDCA cycle, you can refer to these sources. I hope that this video gave you a better understanding of the PDCA cycle. Thank you for watching.